Hey everyone, so to begin with I like to do my drawing on a separate piece of paper and then I can transfer it onto the canvas. I just, I find it easier that way just because it allows me to make more mistakes I guess and I'm not going to mess up the canvas to begin with. Um, so yeah, at the moment I'm using Sorrel transfer paper. For some reason it didn't work very well, um, but I managed. I kind of had to redraw the drawing on the canvas afterwards, but I did have a general idea of where it was. Um, and I also actually painted a white circle on the canvas before I did this just to make it easier because I wanted a white background in that circular area. Um, so you can see that there. And then basically I just start blocking in the colours. Because this is such a stylized painting, I'm not actually going to do any shading. I'm just doing flat colours in a kind of like a pop art style. And because I was sort of rushed while I was painting this, it's much quicker to do a painting like this. Um, so I'm just blocking in the colours and you'll notice that the colours look a little bit patchy here with my skin tone. Um, I actually do a couple more layers of skin tone over that later on so it looks a lot better. Um, you'll see here I'm actually doing Kieran's skin tone a lot darker than it should be and then I start lightening it up. And if you didn't know, this is actually a stylized portrait of myself, Kieran and Audrey. I did it for his birthday the other week, so yeah. It's actually my first painting of the year as well, which is crazy. Like, I should be doing so much more and I really want to start doing more painting. So hopefully I'll be uploading a lot more painting videos. So I just keep continuing blocking in the colours. Um, and then after that, I start doing the line work. I actually don't have a very good small paintbrush. So this was a bit of a struggle for me, but I do end up managing in the end. So I just go along and basically outline everything and You'll notice I've got it thicker in some areas and thin in others. Um, it just kind of gives it a bit more contrast, I guess, so it's not all like the same width. And then once I've finished that, I then start painting in Audrey the cat. Also, you may notice that I've got a dark patch on my skin tone here. I actually tried to fix up a bit, but then I didn't have the right skin tone. Um, but I end up going over my whole face again, so I end up fixing that up, don't worry. Um, so yeah, once I finish painting in Audrey, I then do my background and then I'm done. I don't have any more footage after this, unfortunately, but that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy the video and the finished product and I hope to see you again in another art video soon. I then lightly contour my cheekbones just to give my face a little bit more definition and I'm using a really old um, palette from Estee Lauder that I got from my mum years ago. Um, it's just like a nice...